is my channel, The Fancy Hat Lady Reads. I'm wearing one of my fancy booktube hats, and today I am just bringing you a very quick TBR for an upcoming readathon. This is the Women Write Classic SFF readathon, hosted by my friend Maya from Maya Reads, and this is going to be running for the first week and a bit of April, from April 1st through 12th, so a little under two weeks. And it is pretty simple. It is about reading classic SFF written by women, so sci-fi and fantasy books written by the definition of this readathon prior to the year 2000. There is one challenge to read three books, and those three books should be from three different consecutive decades. So you may have noticed I haven't participated in any readathons in a really long time. I was sort of on a readathon a ban for a while because I realized they were making me very stressed, but I've decided that this is one I really want to do because it is going to be a fairly simple readathon. It's one with plenty of time to complete not very many challenges. I am, however, a little worried about the stress. I've been kind of gearing up to be ready to start doing readathons again for like the first bit of this year and I haven't quite managed any of them, but I was thinking this is the time I'm finally unstressed enough from everything that happened last year that I can do a readathon again, and then all of this happened and now I'm super stressed again. So terrible timing, but I am committing. And part of why I'm committing is because there is one specific book I would really like this excuse to bump to the top of my TBR and read now because it is, I think, going to be the type of classic fantasy that I am really in the mood for, that I think I will find highly enjoyable even while stressed. And this is Travel Light by Naomi Mitchison. This was first published in 1952. I have read one book of Mitchison's before, which was Memoirs of a Space Woman, which um, is an adult science fiction novel. This seems very different. This seems like it's a mythic fairy tale-ish um, adventure fantasy story, and I think it's more of a kids or YA book. It's also very, very short, and it's part of what appeals to me right now. Also, I was told when I purchased this that this one is uh, referenced in the novella This Is How You Lose the Time War, which is nominated for the Booktube SFF Awards, and may end up nominated for a Hugo as well, so I will be reading it whenever I can get my hands on a copy of that. And when I do, I think it will be nice if I've already read this. However, having chosen the 50s as my first decade, um, I ended up having more of a challenge than I had anticipated putting together the rest of my TBR, because I certainly don't have the books on hand in my apartment, on my shelves, to do the 30s and 40s, so I was committed to doing the 60s and 70s, and while I have a number of books from the 70s published by women authors in the sci-fi and fantasy genres, I found the 60s much more difficult. Like, I have a lot of older SFF by women on my TBR. I own a lot of these books. I was not expecting this to be a challenge, but it turns out that a huge percentage of it is from the 80s and 90s, and then like a decent number of books from the 70s, and I had nothing, I don't think, on my physical TBR from the 60s, unless I am missing something. I have read a number of SFF books by women authors from the 60s, but ooh boy, I couldn't find any on my TBR until I looked on my Kindle. It turns out I have one SFF book on my Kindle written by a woman published in the 60s, and that is Witch World by Andre Norton. This was published in 1963. This is also an author I've read one book from before, that was Cat's Eye, which I was very lukewarm about, so I've been hesitant to read more of her work. However, I believe this is sort of a science fantasy series, and this is the first book in, like, the whole Witch World series, which are the most well-known of Andre Norton's books. I think there are, like, multiple sub-series within 
witch world. And I think a lot of the more well-known books can be read on their own. I'm not certain that most people actually particularly recommend the first book, but I have it on my Kindle because it was on a cheap Kindle sale at some point. So I might be setting myself up for failure here by picking up another Andre Norton book that might not be one of her best, but it's what I have and it's also pretty short. And then for the third book for the 70s, the book I sort of had to pick because it's a book that's been on numerous TBRs for me before. I have stated my intention to read this book so many times and still have not read it, is The Dispossessed by Ursula K. Le Guin. This is published in, give me a second, 1974. This is one of Le Guin's most highly regarded classic science fiction books. It would have been nice if I had been able to read it this month because it's actually the Lady Vaults book club pick for this month. I'll link the Lady Vaults on Goodreads. But not only has this not happened for me any of the numerous times that I've put it in a TBR video. I also have not read it this March. So it is really time, and hopefully this will also give me an excuse to maybe go back and start reading some of the uh, backlist books that the Lady Vaults Book Club have been reading for like the past year um, that I have fully intended to read with that group and then just not managed to pick up. And even if I've missed the boat on those group reads, I would still like to sort of catch up with the canon of works that that group is reading. So this is my TBR for the Women Write Classic SFF Readathon. Let me know if you're also participating. Let me know what decades you chose and why. Anyhow, I hope you're having a nice day. That is all. Bye for now.